Hey everyone and welcome back to Basketball Trending and in this video we'll be taking a look at the darker side of one of the most sought after professions in the world, basketball. Today we're talking about NBA players who have been to jail. So let's see what crimes they committed that had them ending up behind bars. Starting off the list, we have Daryl Allums. Allums played on the 1980-1981 season of the NBA with the Dallas Mavericks. Almost eight years later after his retirement, he was sentenced to nine years in prison after he was caught robbing a Domino's pizza on 14 separate occasions. Out of those 14, he was convicted of eight counts with the other six charges dropped. After all was said and done, the judge however did show some sympathy towards him after his drug addiction was brought out. Moving on, we have Charles Smith. Smith went undrafted during the 1989 NBA season, but later on went to play for the Boston Celtics and the Minnesota Timberwolves. He played three seasons of NBA from the late 80s to the mid-90s. In 1992, he was involved in a hit-and-run accident. He ran through a red light and struck two college students. He fled the scene, but sadly both of the teenagers were announced dead. He was subsequently caught and served time in prison. The following year, Smith was put into jail for 4.5 years after an incident of homicide and manslaughter. However, he was let free after just two years and four months. He then returned to basketball, but only played a grand total of eight games between 1996 and 2001 before retiring from the sport. Continuing, we have Quintel Woods. Woods was selected in the 2002 NBA Draft by the Portland Trailblazers, being the 21st pick. Woods' career started off to an amazing beginning. He played in 115 games and was doing incredibly. In just those two seasons, his average was 2.4 and 3.6 points per game, respectively. However, in 2005, Woods' career took a troublesome term after he was charged with animal abuse following an investigation. He pleaded guilty to first-degree animal abuse. He had staged dog fights, sometimes even using his own two pit bulls named Hollywood and Sugar, in his own house. After being caught, both of his dogs were confiscated. Afterwards, he pled guilty and agreed to donate $10,000 to the Oregon Humane Society. He was sentenced to 12 months of probation and 80 hours of community service. He was then dropped by the Trailblazers as a result of his crimes, and he was released out of a contract that was worth $1.1 million for the third year. After that, we have Isaiah Rader, who was chosen as the fifth overall pick of the 1993 NBA Draft by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Ryder started his NBA career strong, finishing the 1993-1994 season as a member of the NBA's all-rookie first team. His career was off to a wonderful start. But in 1996, he was arrested in California on misdemeanor charges, which included driving with marijuana in his car and carrying an illegal cell phone. A California Highway Patrol officer stopped the Mercedes-Benz he was driving because it had illegally tinted front windows. That gave him away, and he was arrested. After just three weeks of this incident, he was again arrested for gambling in public back in Oakland. His problems would stop for a little while. He had 11 years, and in 2007, he was sentenced to seven months in jail, getting in trouble with law enforcement yet again after pleading guilty to cocaine possession, evading the police, and battery. But due to his good behavior, he only served half of that time. With that being said, let us know down below in the comments, guys, which one of these facts surprised you the most? Which one of these people were you really not expecting to see on this list? Let us know, of course, if you know of anyone else from the NBA who was arrested. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate the support. And make sure to subscribe for more basketball content coming in the future.